Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. When you think Cadillac, you probably don't think performance and industry leader of technology, but with a 556 horsepower CTSV and a new infotainment system called Q, they're trying to change some perceptions. So when you're in a car like a Cadillac CTSV coupe, you gotta wonder, where do I take this? Where do I take a car with 556 horses just screaming to get to 60 in 4.2 seconds? Somewhere you can let it stretch its legs. The highway. This car specifically is loaded with tech, loaded with performance numbers. It's really all about value. Going from zero to 60 in 4.2 seconds, that puts you in league with like a 911, a Jaguar XKR. And those kind of vehicles don't ride this smooth and they don't cost around $60,000 like this car does. It's got a magnetic ride system. What they've used is a liquid with metallic particles. Magnets charge the particles, which thickens the liquid and gives the suspension a stiffer or less stiff ability in no time at all. GM originally innovated this magnetic ride suspension with the Corvette. They moved it over here to the CTSV Coupe and then Ferrari was all like, ding dong, yo Cadillac, check it out. We wanna borrow some of that technology. Cadillac's like, okay, that's cool. So now a car like the 599 use either this same or a derivative of this magnetic ride suspension. Stopping from 60 miles an hour and around 100 feet is phenomenal, and that's achieved through the Rimbo brakes on this thing. Six pistons in the front and four in the rear. What that means is that each brake pad has three pistons on each side squeezing against the rotor. Of course, just like parties, the more the merrier. So now we're here to talk about Cadillac Q, Cadillac user experience. With me is Stuart. Stuart, thanks for being with us. No, nice to meet you. So tell me a little bit about how this infotainment system is different than the myriad of other ones on the market right now. Well, I think what we've really done here is, is created just the, the next level of user experience okay. inside the vehicle. We've developed this fantastic integrated cockpit experience between the center stack, the steering wheel controls, and the cluster. We're the first in the market to be offering a fully capacitive faceplate. Both the display and the lower portion are all capacitive. We really tried to take, you know, they've got all these, these great consumer electronics products. We wanted to bring that experience into the vehicle. We've got all of our applications laid out on a home page. It's a multiple pages. Right now I'm on my XM station, so I've got my list here and I can you know, just drag my, my finger up and down. And you can also feel the haptics yeah, coming yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, it comes it. right back at you. All right, so what I'm looking at here on the screen look like apps. Yep. Is there a thought that you guys would open this up to third-party app creators? We're in negotiations with third parties to develop apps for the, That's for the so system. That's so cool. You know, we've got Pandora available, and it's a two-way communication, so I'm, you know, I'm able to actually replicate the Pandora interface on the screen. You've got the thumbs up and thumbs down. Another feature of Q is really about the fact that we've got this ability to tailor the layout of the information for customer tastes. Maybe I'm the kind of customer that wants just a really minimalist um, amount of information on the screen. Using the five-way controller on the steering wheel, I can go in and reconfigure that layout. Boom. And there I go to my simple layout. And it and just reloads. Got? Yeah, right. The great thing about the reconfigurable display is I can control information within these windows. So I can have my tire pressure monitor in there. Maybe I've got trip information. Right, right. What's interesting to me about infotainment systems right now in cars is they seem cool for the time being, but in three years it's going to seem antiquated, and you guys have the ability to really update the whole thing. So what we did was, you know, we've only got four buttons on the faceplate, right? So there's no real hardware involved with this system. I can get my USB stick and I can update the software. And we can grow upon the basic hardware of what we've done there by software updates and we can bring more functionality and more features to the customer based on what we're giving them in the first place. We've enabled upgradability in the hardware and we can deliver that over the lifetime of the vehicle. So, from utilizing magnetic ride control suspension to leading the way in next-gen infotainment, it's obvious that this isn't your dad's Cadillac anymore. All right, for TransLogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next week.